seen it, you'll never believe it. Bruce Patman's uncle is making a new movie here starring Brad Pitt and Kristen Slater. Oh, no, there's Pamela Chapman. Oh, that gorgeous, stuck-up snob. Hi! Oh, sweetie, she's no threat to... Wow, I didn't know Brad Pitt and Claudia Schiffer had a kid. I don't want Belgian waffles, apple-smoked bacon, and sourdough toast. Lightly buttered. <laughs> yeah, and I want straight A's, world peace, and Brad Pitt. Lightly buttered. <laughs> no buttered bread, and definitely no buttered Brad. You'll never believe it! Not in a million, kabillion, gazillion years! Brad Pitt asked for my phone number? Spew, no! I got a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Brad. Brad who? Brad Pitt. Is there any other Brad worth mentioning? I, uh, it, it wasn't him, it was me. Ah, a new student trying to make a name for himself, eh? And that name is? If he doesn't know you, be smart. Make one up. My name is, uh, Brad Pitt, sir. Well, Mr. Pitzer. You know who's really popular in Japan? Brad Pitt. <laughs> it's like he's a movie star. Over there. We're gonna meet a lot of cool people, and we're gonna see great campuses, and we're gonna ace yeah. our interviews. Look, I'm sorry, this is this isn't working. Do you think by any chance the in-flight movie stars Brad Pitt? Little Lurkin wasn't paying attention to me anyway. She's hot for Brad Pitt. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for Bud Bundy. I'm Bud, and you must be Starla. You don't look like Brad Pitt. <laughs> You don't look like Cindy Crawford, either. Did you feel the electricity between us? You didn't say a word in it. Exactly. A few sorrowful looks, some old place grunts, just like my man, Brad Pitt. Come here. I'll give you the address. It's for tomorrow morning. Brad Pitt. The shit. I don't care. Hey! Any second now. I think we're looking for a Brad Pitt look-alike. The other night, when I proposed to you, it was very kind of you not to laugh in my face. Steve, why would I do that? Oh, come on. There's no comparison between Stefan and me. It's like getting a proposal from Brad Pitt, and then five minutes later getting another one from Mr. Bean. <laughs> East Coast, West Coast, let's unite in Brooklyn and I this should take care of the inflammation. The only problem is you're gonna get to wipe it on for. Does Brad Pitt need a goat? <sighs> anyway, I mean, who does he think he is? Brad Pitt? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> and you're like Gwyneth. But he's no Brad. Mm -mm. No, he is not even Brad in 12 Monkeys when he had that weird eye and he was all dirty. Girlfriend, Mike Dexter doesn't even deserve to breathe the same air as Brad, yeah. okay? You're lovely. Well, you're not so bad yourself. Tart. Jealous. Oh, Linda, he's stunning. And he's got eyes like Brad Pitt. So let's not forget your little bisexual stage. Well, it just lasted two hours. Well, two and a half. You try watching Brad Pitt interview with a vampire and not feel a little conflicted. Why don't you start by telling me what your dream job would be? I want to be Brad Pitt's love slave. Ashley, I like action movies. Deal with it. Great, another night of senseless violence and car crashes. I like movies that broaden my outlook and enrich my mind. Like what? Anything with Brad Pitt. <laughs> I got the audition piece. I was looking through it. He's got financing. He's going to do the festival circuit. It'd be an opportunity for some Hollywood-type exposure. <sighs> yeah, right. Are you having delusions of Brad Pittitis? I think I'd make a pretty good actor, actually. And when Robbie and I make love, I pretend that it's Brad Pitt or... Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm sorry things didn't work out on 60 Minutes too, but Total Entertainment, that's a pretty good fallback. No, thank you. I'm sorry that things didn't work out with Brad Pitt, but being single, that's a pretty good fallback. Gives me more time for my work. So the other day, I'm watching this movie with um, Brad Pitt and that blonde, Gwyneth Paltrow. Sliding Doors? Fuck no. Seven. It's a good movie, and i never seen it before. Okay, I admit he was no Brad Pitt, but hey. Piper now! Oh! Ouch! You got skin! Hey, 
Leo, do you think you can make yourself look like Brad Pitt? Come on, I was just hurt. I called it last night. Look, there's Brad Pitt. Hey, hey. Wow. Works every time. Hey, hey, Christopher. Jackson Belleville. Hello? Boy, I gotta tell you, did they get your description wrong? Really? Oh, yeah, much more George Clooney than Brad Pitt. Hey, Andrew. Yeah. Don't you think it's much more George Clooney than Brad Pitt? Why do I think that meeting some guy is gonna complete my life? You know, I am tired of guys. I say that all the time. <laughs> and I watch Brad Pitt in Fight Club and I'm back in. I heard this Robert Redford movie's good. Oh, please, Robert Redford is such a Brad Pitt ripoff. <laughs> right, astrology, what a load of crap. <laughs> you don't think people's lives are affected by the stars? Wait, are we talking about planets or celebrities? Because clearly when Brad Pitt is in town, traffic is tied up for hours. I love Brad Pitt. Me too. But in a totally non-gay way. At least it's nice and warm in here. <laughs> yeah, it's not always the case, is it? I was, um, I was standing in for Brad Pitt once, on, you know, seven years in Tibet. Yes, yeah. Bloody freezing. They always remind us that he was black. All right. As opposed to the Brad Pitt Jesus America tries to sell us. Jesus wasn't black. What's with you? Oh, Rhonda and I kept fighting all night. She keeps insisting that she's not misrepresenting herself. Oh, really? You know, I'd like to tell my wife to look like Brad Pitt, but unfortunately, she can see. And imagine after the fall that he took that he would still look that good. Dude, he's a hologram. Could have made himself look like Brad Pitt if he'd wanted. <sighs> Is that test? What test? The racism test, the one they give you when you join the camps to make sure you're not a racist. It's a... I've never heard of it. Yeah. Do you want to do it? Yeah. It's just ten oh, questions. On, on. Yeah. Just relax, don't you? You've got nothing to worry about, unless you are a racist. What's question one? Question one is, who would you rather see with their shirt off? Brad Pitt or Sir Trevor McDonald? Brad Pitt, obviously. Obviously. It's supposed to be a culmination of four years of memories. Why do we have to ruin it with the pinnacle of a popularity contest? So, does that mean I order more pizza for the Brad Pitt marathon? What? You're not going? Julian Harper. Isn't he supposed to be like the uh, next Brad Pitt or something? Yeah. Now he's the next River Phoenix. What's he look like? Like a white guy? Like a pasty white guy? He's Brad Pitt. He's Henry Kissing. Stop it. Hi. Hey. I need Charlie. We're working. I heard Brad Pitt. You're not working. My standards are ridiculously high. I want someone who's financially secure, with a face like Brad Pitt, a body like Brad Pitt, and hung like, well, just hung. Is this a face that a woman would be obsessed with? Well. Well, by your paws, I understand. <laughs> because I think, you know, a woman can be obsessed with a movie star like Brad Pitt. Hello. Dr. Turner seems like a nice guy, and he's hot. You know, like if he left Brad Pitt out in the sun forever. No sign of poor sentry on the windows or the doors. Of course, if a girl can get into Brad Pitt's underwear drawer and take a nap on his bed, I guess anything is possible. He has to work on his stupid movie. The guy gets one role and suddenly he's the Brad Pitt of Italy. Brad Pitt, Russell Crowe, who's hotter? Brad Pitt. Ah! What? I thought you... Yeah, we got <laughs> no, no, I thought... No, I thought you meant who's hotter career-wise. You're totally busted. Gay, gay. The Seven Deadly Sins. Live and in the flesh. What's in the box? <laughs> Brad Pitt, seven, no? And you take one of these, and you fuck your wife like you're a porn star. You keep Viagra in the glove compartment? Yeah, right next to the Altoids. I may not look like Brad Pitt, but I can fuck like him. A guy like that doesn't dream about a girl like me. Is this about how cute he was? I mean, I thought you'd be happy. And not to mention, you know, pretty damn relieved. Besides, you said that looks don't matter. Yeah, that was before I knew he was Brad fucking Pitt. There's no way a guy who looks like that is gonna want me. Hey, Brian, did you know that Brad Pitt is John Lithgow's nephew? He is? No, but doesn't that sound like something that could be true? Track team, vice president of the student council, runner up for Mr. Popularity. Where does it say that? It's the type, sweetie. He's Mr. Second Best. It's kind of like when you want Brad Pitt and you get Matthew McConaughey. You guys are so fancy. You must get to meet all the big stars. Well, I did get a water for Brad Pitt once. <gasps> Still at the pub. Oh. My, my. Well, I wouldn't care what his head looked like as long as he had the ass of Brad Pitt. <laughs> Why would she kill her best friend? What's her uh, motive? 
Why do women kill other women? Over men. Could have been fighting over Jason, though he's no Brad Pitt. Out of the way, fish face. <laughs> Whoa, is that Brad Pitt? No, wait, it's me. But that's all Bertie can ever talk about, so it's the lesson is Jenna this, Jenna that. Mom, I've got a man crush on Brad Pitt. It doesn't mean I'm gay. I just want her to have a normal childhood. No stopping. No stopping for anything. I don't care if Brad Pitt is selling fruit in a thong on the GW. You cannot stop, okay? By the way, who's the actor in the florist movie? Brad Pitt. He's in? 100%. Brad Pitt is a florist. He'd be good. Sure would. Megan did steal the car, and we did wind up robbing that liquor store at gunpoint. Seriously? No. Never happened. I mean, it happened in Thelma and Louise, but not in real life. P.S. How hot was Brad Pitt in that movie? What are you talking about? I don't know who that is. No, well, no, of course you don't know who that is. You don't know who anyone is. You thought Brad Pitt was a cave in Yorkshire? The thing is, most people do know who that is. And you were kind of funny in an unbelievably annoying way. And you were... Cute? No. Handsome? No. Like Brad Pitt, but oh. way shorter and more hairy? Ugh. What? It got completely out of hand. There was this whole gang of them. And then a, a, a fight broke out, but nobody tried to break it up. They were just standing around cheering. It was weird. It reminded me of, um... Tyler Durden. Yeah. Exactly. Who? Ed Norton, Brad Pitt, Fight Club. Sorry, Ziva, we don't talk about Fight Club. I was watching TV and I got the idea. Fight Club was on. I don't think I can hit you. Yes, you can. Yeah, come on. What are you... Yes, just... You can. Just get angry at I, me. I, 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 I'm not good with anger. I go straight to depression. Come on. It'll be fun. I, I'll be Brad Pitt and you can be Edward Norton. Got another one. Oh, boy. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Right? Brad Pitt? Seven? Nothing? Yeah, I'm the jerk. What's in the box? So when you say cute, do you mean like little kid with gum in his hair cute or Brad Pitt cute? Mm. Somewhere in between. I would like to introduce you to Dr. Barry Frank, dental genius and fang master extraordinaire. He did uh, Brad Pitt's veneers for Interview with a Vampire. This is Lars from Norway. Just some guy she met at the gym with Brad Pitt's face and Jesus' abs. And did I mention that the grandfather is aging backwards, like Brad Pitt? <sighs> Can we talk about casting, please? I mean, Sean Parker gets Justin friggin' Timberlake, and I get Jesse Eisenberg? It's like, hey, we're making a movie about Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. Steve, you're gonna be played by Brad Pitt, and Bill, you're gonna be played by a cardboard box with glasses glued to it. Sounds great. I wanna get an earring, Mom. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. Just, just one ear. Where's Grace? In her room. Brad Pitt has an earring in one ear. It is believed that the Lord will grant the prayers that are stuck into the cracks. Please, no graffiti, no making the pigeon. Yalla! Sad. Sad. Never gonna happen. Sad. Maybe if you were Brad Pitt. I am the biggest agent in Hollywood and you just pissed me off! And now I'll pull Brad Pitt from your movie. She had this bike, like, this Ducati, like, ten years ago. Awesome. Awesome motorcycle. Brad Pitt has one. I got the key! Brad Pitt, where? How often do you use your vibrator? Excuse me? Your battery operated Brad Pitt. Was he really hot? He was okay. He looked kind of like that guy in the movie Seven. Brad Pitt? No, <laughs> the weird killer guy. Oh. Ew. <laughs> Tracy Jordan's doing TV again. I know. Disappointing. Take him off the official A list. Well, I don't have the password. Pitt's our webmaster. Well, then wake him up! Well, never say never. Remember, you didn't think we'd get Brad Pitt to do that Radio Shack commercial. I was right. Well, you can't be right all the time. Do you have any idea how easy it is to sell something when you're famous? Uh, yeah, wow. Ten reams of 40-pound bond at only six ninety after discount? Uh, whatever you say, Brad Pitt. It's that easy. Who would you take to a desert island? <laughs> Who would I take? Yeah, serious question. Okay, I guess Yo-Yo Ma mm -hmm. with his jello mm -hmm. and uh, 
Brad Pitt for a bit of eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not too superficial. Oh, no. I like the show. Then call him. Uh-uh. I don't beg for work. It feels desperate. You're right. And you realize that's how every great performer made it, by waiting quietly. Oh, you know what I mean. I'm sure when Brad Pitt was starting out, he just sat at home waiting for people to find him. Okay, that's a terrible example. He's Brad Pitt. I'm sure he could just sit at home and wait. Well, my dear, you are no Brad Pitt. Behold, the Phantom of the Opera! Um, you look fine? I... What? I mean, you're no Brad Pitt or anything, but you're okay. And as for the little boy who was so mercilessly gunned down, although he survived the shooting, his wishes are to remain anonymous, giving the hospital only the nickname Brad Pitt. But cooler. You know what? I like bottomless mimosas and the redesigned VW Bug, and Brad Pitt is a work of art. Nobody can deny that. Hey, Ryan, you remember Brad Pitt? That was a Fight Club reference. Yeah, no, I got that. Almost immediately. What's in the box? Mind your own damn business. Good call. What's in the box? I got it. You got the part? Yeah. Wow, that's... Congratulations. It's two scenes. Are you kidding me? Brad Pitt became a superstar off just two or three scenes. Bella Louise, the... yeah. My mom used to say that. Sometimes I just want to get out of here. Can I come? We could hit the road, Thelma and Louise style. Drop a couple banks, hook up with Brad Pitt. Die at the end. Padres before I sleep with two madres. Brad Pitt before grab clit. These nuts before skinny sluts. Can't do it. Okay, well, you're gonna have to. Okay, first time. It's the hardest. After that, it's fine. I told you. Okay, drink this. What is it? It's something to make you relax. Drink it, I promise. Close your eyes. I don't know. Look at it. Think that he's Brad Pitt or something. <laughs> You hurt my feelings. I know I'm not Brad Pitt, or George Clooney, or Matt Damon, or Casey Affleck, or James Conn's Okay, please son. stop naming the cast of Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Thirteen. Stuff and ready to go. We can film and lose the shit right now. Not necessary, bro. I'm good. Okay. You realize they died at the end of that movie, right? Who gives a shit? Brad Pitt lived? Hi. Are you? Are you? <laughs> Catherine. It's Kate, actually, but... You look like Brad Pitt and smell like firewood, so you can call me Lisa for all I care. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like me a wet Brad Pitt. <laughs> oh, good. He's still wet. Uh, I really want to know... What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box? Like from that scary movie, Seven, with Brad Pitt? I'm sorry, I, I haven't seen movies. But I know who Brad Pitt is. I see his face on the magazine blankets that keep me warm at night. Magazine blankets. Yeah. Okay, but like, what is in the box actually though? This is like an Ocean's movie. Ben's the old guy with the big glasses. His name is Elliot Gould. Yeah, and Jason, you're Clooney. Thank you. And uh, I'll be Matt Damon, some kind of an outsider. Yeah, definitely. Who am I? Uh, you are Ben Affleck's brother. Well, why aren't I Brad Pitt? I think that's kind of self-explanatory. Apparently, I had an uncle, uh, Cyrus, who died and out of the blue left me a pretty handsome sum. I, I guess he didn't have a lot of other kin. Now, when you say handsome, are we talking carpool dad at Lily's school? Or are we in a more Clooney pit area? Hmm. I would say more Harry Hamlin. Oh, well, that's not bad. Hey, Terry, I have a package for you. Ooh, Sarge got a present. What's in the box? Brad Pitt 7. But seriously, what's in the box? The worst thing in the world. Well, if it's his blood, where's the body? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Brad Pitt. What? Rory got a better offer. He's left us to go back to L.A. for a movie. Sydney put him up to this to give us a good scare for the camera. Precisely well, about the MRI indicated swelling. Wait. Now you sound like Brad Pitt in Seven Years in Tibet. Well, enough about me. Who's playing me in your movie, huh? Not Brad Pitt. It's too on the nose. <laughs> I got this. Actually, I was thinking I got this. Well, yeah, I mean, if the mission was impersonating Brad Pitt, you'd be the man. But I think we can all agree if anyone here looks like a G-man here, it's me. So I really want to ask what's in the box, but uh, it'll ignite a whole seven things. What's in the box? What's in the box? I want everyone to see, you especially. What? Why? What? Brad Pitt do this in The Legend of the Falls. If I could go through a magical stone wall and pick 
any man in any time period in any universe, I would pick Brad Pitt and Thelma and Louise. Strong choice. Me same. What do you see? A little bit of Brad Pitt's younger brother, right? Around the eyes? Yeah, if I had one too many and the lights were out. Bottom line, it works. So did you use that Brad Pitt bull on Savannah Ross? Every Wednesday night, Brad Pitt comes over and fucks me till the sun comes up. Well, I guess it's time for me to move on to the next movie in my filmography. Seven. Will you join me, Brad Pitt? What's in the box? What's in the box? Welcome to Debate Club. The first rule of Debate Club is you do not talk about Debate Club. The second rule of Debate Club is you do not talk about Debate Club. The third rule is if someone yells stop, goes limp, or tags out, the debate is over. Brad Pitt in Fight Club. So what happened? I was told to back off. By whom? I'd rather not say. I'd rather be Brad Pitt. It, it's just the person involved. Come on, don't you want to do some crazy stuff like we used to? We'll, we'll Thelma and Louise it. We'll blow up some redneck trucker's rig and I'll have sex with Brad Pitt. No, of course you get Brad Pitt. Whoa. <laughs> Look at us. Who are we? Brad Pitt and his handsome brother? And Johnny? Wow. They're ugly bastards, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, well, he's no Brad Pitt, sir. Black man needing a white man to jumpstart his career. Mike Tyson need a custom auto. 12 years a slave need a Brad Pitt. And what's Ocean's Eleven without George Clooney? Ocean's Ten with Brad Pitt. The network wants younger leads, so the obvious solution would be to hire the best CGI guys in Hollywood and age me down, like Brad Pitt in Benjamin Button. Anthony Hopkins, Brad Pitt, those two other guys. you made it to be Brad Pitt even for a day anyway I'll tell you to have my shirt off in the movie for a couple of scenes there's love scenes so I'm going straight up gosling for this or Pitt and Fight Club or something I don't know it appears that there are multiple brain waves intricately tangled together when the multiverse collapsed in crisis all of the wells must have channeled into the only surviving doppelganger multiple psyches camped out in Nash's brain it's like Tyler Durden times a thousand. Tyler Durden, great reverence. First rule of Fight Club is... Okay, can we not talk about Fight Club? Yeah, that's it. Well, I know I'm not as sexy as Brad Pitt. But now I'm starting to worry that I might be... <laughs> All Juana man is, is, is Tootsie. You know I mean? Exactly. <laughs> I thought that brother should have been the next Brad Pitt. I'm telling you right now. We eliminate everyone who isn't a killer until we're left with the person who is. Intriguing, and yet totally backwards. When you cast a show, you don't say, I'm looking for not a Brad Pitt type. You say who you are looking for. Now, he said he wanted the most badass possible American name. Like, I quote, if uh, Brad Pitt and Nick Cage fucked and had an even hotter baby. I know that you being in South America and being on white and blue eyes, you think that women are gonna want you and love you all the time. Like, what the f do you think you are? Like some kind of Brad Pitt? No. Not fast enough for my more genius. He's got that Brad Pitt thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, pump the brakes. Your boy's a lot of things, but he's not Brad Pitt. Ouch, a hater. Because I couldn't think of anybody else. What about Ariana Grande or Drake? What? Brad Pitt or Payne Stewart or Doug the Pug, Khloe Kardashian.